everyone and welcome to the 12 days of Cosmas. What is the 12 days of Cosmas? It is a super fun and awesome reading challenge created by Courtney over at the Cortagonist channel. So make sure to go watch her video as well. And I will be giving you my take on how I am doing the 12 days of Cosmas and breaking down all the challenges for you as well as giving you some book suggestions. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, author of the Frosted Misfortunes Cozy Mystery Series starring my own little kitty cat, Lucky. On this channel, we talk all about mysteries, whether those are books, TV shows, or movies. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Tuesday or today because it's the day that we want to talk about Cosmas because Tuesday would be too late because that would be the first day of, or wait, the eve before the Tuesday of Cosmas. I don't know what I'm saying it would just be too late. So today is Saturday and hopefully you're having a fabulous shopping weekend. I know for myself, there have been, uh, I have been like on the hunt for an air fryer. Uh, it's one of those things like, do I really need the air fryer? Probably not. So I did purchase it on Amazon. They had a limited time time deal on the Cresseri and I did a lot of research. There are like a ton of air fryer videos out there. I had no idea it was so popular. Anyways, this was the best one in terms of cleaning and how well it operated and noise level and everything else in price. And so, yeah, if you're interested, uh, oh, I don't know if the deal's still going on, but I will definitely leave a link to that below. But if you're not interested in air fryers, we will move on to the next topic, which is why we're here to talk about the 12 days of Cosmas. Okay, so I am actually not on Instagram anymore. I was I tried for like the last five months and it's a, it's a ton of work and not that I don't love Instagram and posting there uh, and I actually had help but it was still like I just couldn't keep up so I am going to take a hiatus but I still love Instagram and if that is your jam Courtney has a ton of cool things going on there there is a buddy read for the Christmas letter by Kathy Daly and that is happening over on Instagram with her and she has like this group of cozy mystery readers uh, that are kind of all friends with each other and they run all of these challenges together they did one for October so I'm sure they would be friends with you too it's not like an exclusionary group and then you could vote because I think they voted for the Christmas letter book and then this way if you are following all of them then you can vote for whatever challenge they have next because it sounds like they are very active and doing a ton of great things over there now you can also participate in the 12 days of Cosmas over on Instagram there is a prompt for each day for each of the 12 days on what to post you can do it as a regular Instagram post as a story as a reel whatever makes you happy even an Instagram TV or an Instagram live which probably would be easier than creating a post but I digress all of that information is over on Courtney's video and also I will leave links to all of that below uh, let's talk about the four challenges that are on YouTube because I am a YouTuber, so I'm excited about those. Now, all of these challenges, you can do one, you can do all four. And in the past, I believe we had like, Courtney had scheduled 12 different challenges and I think maybe it just got a little overwhelming. So she has narrowed it down to make it like super easy. There are four. So the first one is read a book that was a gift. So I, this, I don't know if this was a gift. I guess it was like a gift to myself because I purchased it. Uh, it's Jasmine Guillory's While We Were Dating. It was this uh, like gosh awful, super expensive book subscription box that I had um, wrongly purchased. I think it was one page or whatever. I will never do that again. But even though I did not like the book subscription, I did like this book. I like Jasmine Guillory. Um, I am actually partway through it, so I will be finishing this up for Cosmas. The second challenge is to read in your pajamas. I actually don't wear pajamas. I've been wearing a long oversized t-shirt my whole life. I remember having to wear, I don't even know why people put children in those, like those awful like full body suits with like footies and like covers up your hands. It was terrible. I just remember, I think I was like six or seven and I was complaining to my mom. I was like, I am so hot. And she's like, you're gonna be cold. I'm like, I'm dying. And so she wouldn't let me take it off. I remember I was just in misery. Uh, and then after that, I don't even know when it happened, but I finally was uh, like allowed to wear t-shirts and I have never stopped. I've just always worn t-shirts. In fact, the t-shirt that I wear to bed now is one of Ben's t-shirts that I'm sure he liked, but I've just stolen it and commandeered it. And that is my 
sleepy t-shirt pajamas. But that is the second challenge. And then the third challenge is read by Christmas lights or by candles if you don't celebrate Christmas. And I actually don't have any Christmas lights up. I think we tried putting them up one year and then it was like, too much trouble or something or I think I was worried about the price it wasn't even that expensive right I am just really like a huge big time minimalist so I didn't want to do we actually don't put up any decorations for any of the holidays and it does save a lot of money and storage as well because you can only put them out once a year not to sound like a Grinch because I do think Christmas lights are pretty uh so if you were like me and you're just not into decorating because you're just a little bit more frugal then you can read by candle lights which I do have candles all over the place and I will do that probably one of these days when Ben is hanging out with his mother because Ben does not like the smell of candles or incense so it like bothers his uh he has allergies so and he's much more like smell sensitive than I am he's like can you smell that and I'm like I don't know what you're talking about I don't I don't smell anything <laughs> like smell spice in the air or cinnamon or I don't know a wave of something from 20 miles away he is like a bloodhound so uh, what was my point? Oh, if you would like to read something by candles, uh, then you can do that or Christmas lights if you don't have them. And then the last challenge is to read the Cosmos book. So the Cosmos book that Courtney chose was Manhattan and Murder, which is one of the Murder She Wrote books. And I think she's on a Murder She Wrote kick because that was one of her suggestions for December for our vacation theme and we're reading another murder she wrote uh and so lots of murder she wrote going on you know if you want to too i'm just going to throw this out there and say it's okay if you want to just watch a murder she wrote rerun on tv that's all right too or maybe you just want to add that in as a fifth challenge because all of this talk about all these murder she wrote books did start me thinking about how much i did love watching that tv show and i just vaguely recall like little glimpses of it and then i of course went on wikipedia and looked up jessica fletcher and i can't even think of her real name now but Anyways, she was talking about reprising the role, and then of course she was worried about how she looked, and so she didn't want to reprise the role. I mean, it's not a big surprise to us that 25 years later, she looks a little older. So I don't know. I would love to see her in a, another production of Murder, She Wrote, if she's watching this, or anybody else. I don't care like how much older she's gotten. She's still like Jessica Fletcher to me. So I would hate to see somebody new playing her and I would like her to come back and reprise that role for at least one episode or a special. All right, that was a long way to say, those are all the things that you can do for Cosmos. So if you have any questions, cause I do find, and maybe it's just me, I do find reading challenges kind of confusing sometimes, but uh, that might just be because I don't participate in them a lot. But if you have any questions, just ask them below. Or maybe, I, I think I'm always worried about the rules. Like I wanna do everything perfect. Whereas most people are like, I'm doing whatever. And they're like, maybe it follows the rules, maybe it doesn't. But because I like following the rules, I always want to make sure I get it done correctly. So if you are like me and you're confused, just ask a question below. But I hope everyone's having a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.